Hi and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're at another Goodwill and I would like to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed. It really makes my day whenever I get a new subscriber and then when I had the blow up the other day. So really happy about that. We're at another Goodwill today. Um, is this is a Goodwill that I don't normally go to. This one has a lot more furniture in it than the rest that I go to, um, and a lot more clothes and not very broke. many hard goods, and that's normally what I sell is the hard goods. It's broke. No, that's just I really like that rocking chair, but it would be for personal use. It looks like an outdoor All piece. All the way in here. Good job. Okay, so it, today was really crowded, so I'm trying not to get everybody in it and stay out of the way. This Goodwill, compared to the other Goodwill that I go to, um, it does have higher prices. And I think it's because of the location that it's at. So this is the metal section. And this was just like a little metal tin. I did drop the lid. <laughs> I did pick that back up and put it right back on the shelf. They wanted 99 cents for it and it just looked like something they got from Walmart or maybe Hobby Lobby or something like that and I put that back. So this is the wood section. They've got the wood section and the metal section down the same side. And then I think it's funny whenever they have that original tag and then they put almost the close to the same right next to it of the Goodwill price. And this little teddy bear um, it had a base that went with it. I've seen it uh, another time before that and it was like a piggy bank and it was completely broken and I guess they're just trying to sell just the head now and they were selling the head just for $2.99 even though just last week they were selling the whole entire piece for $2.99. So that does go back on the shelf. Well, let's keep looking. I never, um, this Goodwill's a hit and a miss. So, you don't really know what you're going to find anytime you go to a Goodwill or any thrift store. You don't really know what you're going to find. Oop, let's not run her over. Sorry. And these are the baskets. These are just the made in China baskets, which they were made really nice if you're, you know, shipping baskets or you like to resell baskets. That's a good, these are good prices. Or, well, that one's not. That one's $5.99. And that one was two nine nine, so the two nine nine wasn't terrible. And this was a left in piece. I ended up leaving it because it did have a chip to the flower, which it wasn't like a terrible chip to that flower. But I have so much inventory right now that I haven't listed yet, so I'm trying to be more picky. Okay, so this. I was really disappointed this right here so right before I came down this aisle another I'm telling you it was crowded so there was another man that went down here he found a teapot I love teapots so he found a teapot that matched this okay so it's probably that Mangelica and it was the same exact everything and he had some cups that went with it but he didn't find the plate I wanted that teapot so bad when I saw it and I saw the plate and it's $1.99. I'm not getting it because it doesn't have the whole set and I just don't feel the reason to take the plate when he has the rest of them. So I did pick the plate up so somebody else could find it, maybe him if he comes back and looks for it. And eventually he does come back and get the plate. Um, that's why I like to come earlier than I did today. I came later in the day and I'm so disappointed by not finding that teapot. Because I love selling teapots. These plates have a really good country design. But I have, I have plates already and I didn't want to grab more plates. And I have no clue what this is, but I do pick it up. I don't know if it's a uh, warmer or something. I have no clue what it is. Maybe potpourri. I don't know. It has holes at the bottom. I don't know if they, if the plate sits on top. I don't know. But I picked it up and I was going to do some research on it when I get home. So this is a Teleflora gift. 
It's a bowl. It's really well made. I think they wanted $3.99 for it. So this is a little glass insulator. I think it was made for, you know, electricity poles. Um, here in the Midwest, I don't know if it's like that in other states and other cities, but we have these a lot all the time and I've seen them at like antique malls and um, other places like that and they sell for about $10. So I went ahead and picked it up for $2.99. So this, I have no clue what it is. It's a gravy boat, I know that part, but I don't know the brand of it. And it's a very cute fall decor, hand-painted gravy boat. I do leave it behind just because I don't know much about it. And like I said, I have to be a little bit more picky. Um, I do like this. I left it. And I do have my store link, so whatever I bring home, you will be able to shop at my store. This was a little planter piece. They wanted, I think, 99 cents for the cup and then 99 cents for the plate. This was plastic. I was hoping it was going to be chalkware, but it was plastic. Okay. And this I was hoping to be metal, again, plastic. I mean, I know some stuff that's plastic can sell well, but I was hoping that it would have been that metal material. That they wanted $5.99 for this, so I don't know if maybe somebody thought it was brass or gold plated, but it was not. This is a cute little jewelry box. It has the felt in there. That little piece doesn't squish down all the way, but I just kind of look past that because it's a green color and the flower on the top was in perfect condition and it was $2.99, so I picked that up. It's just tags, Christmas card tags. <coughs> I'm not sure what this is. I think it's a planter after I read the box. It was $4.99 is what it says in a two-piece set. And then when I looked at it, it said it was a planter. I left that behind. I was trying to scoot out of the way because there were so many people. This day was packed. I've never seen it this crowded. I don't know. I really don't understand why it was this packed, but it was. This is $2.99. That's a candle holder. I don't pick that up because there's only one. This is, <laughs> my daughter said it was creepy, and I agree with her. I don't know what it is, but it's a little creepy. And that had a giant chip on the bottom, so that got left on the shelf. This is a little duck. Um, I don't know if it's a planter or a watering can. I'm not sure. It does have a spout on its mouth and then a place that you could fill it up with. So I'm not sure if it's a watering can or not because it is a porcelain ceramic material. It does have quite a bit of crazing, but I picked it up anyways because I do like that material. This is an Avon perfume bottle. This is an onyx statue of an eagle, $3.99. No chips or cracks, so I do pick that up. Because I know onyx and stuff like that can sell really well. So this is a hobbyist piece probably. Somebody made it themselves. It looks like they epoxied it and put their, um, probably the picture of their dog on it. I do pick that up because dog stuff does sell pretty well for me. Even if it is a hobbyist piece, it's really well made. It's on stone, and it's a St. Bernard. And I've never seen a St. Bernard hobbyist piece before, so that's why I picked it up. 
I was hoping this was going to be vintage, but it was not. It felt like it was paper thin, so I put that right back. What? No, I already have that one. I have no clue what this is. It says, don't lay food. So it's not for food use. So I don't know if somebody was using it for soaps, maybe. I'm not sure. It's two ninety nine. I don't know. What I don't that grab is. that though. With it being holes at the bottom, I wonder if it was for soap. Nope. So it could get wet and then drain out. I don't know. This looks like a candy dish. It was ninety nine cents. With it being that green glass, I do pick that up, and I'm like fingers crossed it glows. Hopefully, it's my hopes. This is a hobbyist piece. It said it was hand burned. It was a horse, so I just left that behind. Uh, this is a little bear planter, $1.99 for that. Gotcha. I was hoping this was gonna be something heavy, but it wasn't. Um, this is a little bunny, they wanted $5.99 for that. Mm. Holiday mug. I don't grab that. It had some damage to it. I think that was for candles. That was the soap dish. And I have no clue what this is. It's 99 cents. I do end up leaving it behind because I don't know what it is. No markings on it at all. I don't know if it was a lid to something. It's kind of what it looks like to me. This is a made in Puerto Rico pottery. They wanted, what was it, two ninety nine for that. That was missing the back for the battery piece. You know, I have no clue what this is. Absolutely no clue. But I know it's that mortar I don't where you take that metal piece and you mix your I don't know spices and stuff in there or medicine because it says RX but I think it's more of a decoration piece and it's made out of full brass like it was heavy super heavy and it was $2.99 so I I do pick this up I have no clue what it is but I'll do research on it when I get home with it being brass that's why I picked it up because brass stuff it goes for pretty good money I'm always on the lookout for brass. But anytime I've only seen brass was at antique malls. So I'm like, if I ever find brass, I'm picking it up. And I think these are little hobbyist pieces. I think somebody painted those for the holidays. Down the little Halloween section. I didn't even see that Simpsons box before. I don't want to get you on the camera. That's why I like to make two rounds whenever I'm at any thrift store, Good Goodwill, or um, antique malls, just so I can see things that I missed. But I don't always get to do that because it might be too busy. So I'm trying not to show other people. That's why I'm just showing you my buggy right now. Okay, now we're at, this is where they keep the appliances and the lamps. Anything that plugs in, they keep it in one section over here. Or I guess if it takes batteries, but. These were vases, and I don't know if maybe somebody thought that they should have been a lamp, and I guess you could have turned them into a lamp, but they didn't have the hole in there for it, and they wanted $1.99 a piece for those, which isn't bad, 
but you have to drill in the holes and then set it up for the lamp. There was a lot of damage, like a wear on the inside, so I do put those back. All right, so now we're back home. Let's see. So now we've got the onyx eagle. My daughter says it looks like a dolphin <laughs> splashing out of the water, but it is definitely an eagle or some type of bird. I uh, think it's just a paperweight. It says made in Pakistan and it was $2.99. It has a pretty good weight to it and these sell pretty good. So then here's this. That Mex, I'm assuming it's in Mexico. Mexico pottery piece, 99 cents for this, and then 99 cents for the bottom piece. And that's not broken or anything, that's just the glaze where the glaze didn't get on there. Still not sure on what this is. Okay, so now we've got the jewelry box that I did pick up. So that, it doesn't hold up, but it's fine. These look great. It was $2.99 for this. So the lid is a little bit wonky, where it's not like lined up 100%, but it's not like terrible, and I didn't notice it in the store until I got home. I'm sure it's fine because it is a unique color, that dark green. I will be cleaning that off before I sell it. Here is the insulator. It says made in USA. Sometimes you can find these in different colors, but I've always wanted one. I just think they're really neat. $2.99 for that. So I did have to make decisions in my buggy. That's why not everything that was in my buggy is what got brought home. But I did see this right before I, took, I checked out. So it says Home and Garden Party Limited or LTD. I don't know what that stands for. Limited Edition. Microwave dishwasher and oven safe. Made in USA 2003. So next year it'll be vintage because anything that you sell, reselling, uh, as long as it's 20 years old, then it's considered vintage. And remember, I love me some mugs. And this one's just a really pretty, pretty color. And it has some weight to it. It's not a cheaply made mug. It's really nice. So, there it does look like there's some separation from the handle, but it doesn't look like a crack. It just looks like the glazing right here. So, okay, so here's this. I've seen, I looked it up when I got home, and there were some other ones that didn't look like mine, and they were selling for $40, and there were some already sold for $40. And they had that RX on the front like this. And this is heavy. Like, I think it's about five pounds. And you can tell that it is brass. And I don't know what that is at the bottom. I'll have to clean that up. It's pretty gross. I don't know if that's somebody's old candle. I don't know. Don't really know. It doesn't come off. Anyways, pretty neat. And here's this little candy dish that I found. No chips or cracks in it. It doesn't glow. Kind of disappointed about that, but that's okay. This is a fused glass. You can see the lines where it was fused in there. So whenever it asks you what's a fused glass, that's what they're talking about. That right there. That line. It's really good. Nice piece. 99 cents perfect so here's that dog epoxy paperweight stone i don't know i mean i'm pretty sure somebody made this but it's a really good well-made piece $2.99 for that 
Okay, now here's the last thing that I got. There's my receipt. Here's the last thing that I got. That is like some sticker residue, probably from somebody else's tag or maybe another Goodwill sticker. Um, I will clean this off. I'm pretty sure it's like a watering can. That'd be fun. Put your water in there and water your house plants. So cute. It is a little dirty on the inside and I'll clean that up too. And it does have some crazing, but no cracks or anything. It says made in Taiwan. Really cute. Looks like a hand painted piece. And that's the it of this video. I did spend $20 and 23 cents at this Goodwill. For how many things? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten things. But I'm going to sell this one as one piece. So nine things, $20. Not too bad. That's me, the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.